today we're doing lesson 5.6 number pattern. Our central question says, how can you make and describe patterns? Daryl is making a pattern for a quilt. The quilt or the pattern shows 40 squares. Every fourth square is blue. How many blue squares are in the pattern? The first thing that they want you to do, guys, is underline what you are asked to find. What are we asked to find? Briley? How many blue squares are in the pattern? Perfect. Okay. Put it on your paper. Okay. How many blue squares are in the pattern? That's what we're asked to find, right? Circle what we need to use. There's two things that we need to use. LJ? Lainey? 40 squares. And what else? Point to it. I got it. Every fourth square is blue. That's correct. That's so what we need. need 40 squares and every fourth square is blue. Go ahead and circle that. Okay. A pattern is an ordered set of numbers or objects. Each number or object in the pattern is called a term. Shade the squares that are blue. So remember, Every fourth square is blue. So we have one, two, three, shade. One, two, three, shade. So we're going to, they shaded four for us. We're going to shade eight. What's the next one after eight? Twelve. Twelve. Next, fifteen. Sixteen. Oh, sixteen. Sorry. Next. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, Thirty-six and forty. So, how many blue squares are in the pattern? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. ten. So, there are ten blue squares in the pattern. Okay. It says, "What patterns do you see in the arrangement of blue squares?" So, how many blue squares are there in the top row? Two. 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 How many in the second row? Three. Three. Third row? Two. two. Fourth row? Four. Four. Or three. Three. Oh. One, two, three. So it goes two in the top row, then three, then two, then three. So two and three blue squares alternating. Two and three blue squares alternating. That's another pattern that we see in the arrangement of the blue squares. What patterns do you see in the numbers of the blue squares? Olivia, you can see the fours counting pattern, like four, every time it adds four and it does the four counting pattern. Okay, so we're skip counting by four, right? That's what I was trying to say. And what is that? What's another more technical term for skip counting, Livia? 
Um, not factors, but multiples. Multiples. There. We go. So we're gonna write multiples of four. All of them are multiples of four, right? Yes. Okay. Very good. Yes. is five. So as long as you have the first term and what the rule is, you can extend that pattern, right? Mm -hmm. So the first term is five, so they started us with five, and the rule is each time you jump, you add five. So five plus five, ten. Ten, ten plus five, fifteen, plus five, twenty, plus five, 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 five plus five, thirty, thirty three. plus five, thirty five. Thirty five. Very good. So, so fifteen, twenty, twenty five, thirty, and thirty five. And now we're going to fill in down below. So it goes five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five. 30, 35, 40, 45, dot, dot, dot. What do you notice about the digits in the ones place? What is that? Five, five, zero, 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 five, zero, five, zero. Okay, so what do we notice about, about those digits? They alternate with five, then zero. That's what we're going to put. They alternate five, then zero. Yeah. It says describe the pattern using the words odd and even. <coughs> so let's look at the first term, five. Is that odd or even? even. Odd, <coughs> even. to write the pattern, would we need to write out all of those odds and evens? Yeah. Or would we just write the smallest repeating part? The smallest part. So what's repeating? Odd, then even. So that's all we're going to write here. Odd, even. That is the pattern using the words odd and even. Now they want us to describe the pattern using the word multiples. What are all of these terms multiples of? Five. Five. Very good, guys. Multiples of five. Okay. So the rule for this pattern is add three subtract one and sometimes it gets a little confusing it's like does it want you to add three and write a number then subtract one and add a number or write a number or does it want you to add three subtract one all together and then add a number but they, they you can see right here that the first jump we add three then we subtract one then we add three then Subtract one, add three, subtract one, add three, subtract one, add three. So we've filled in what we do on each jump. And the first term is six. So what is six plus three? Nine. Nine. Nine minus one? Eight. Eight plus three? Eleven. Minus one, Ten. plus three, Thirteen. minus one, twelve, plus three, fifteen, minus one, fourteen, plus three, seventeen. Okay, so there's our pattern. So let's look at, we have um, 
6, 9, 8, 11, 10, 13, 12. Those numbers are kind of all over the place, right? Yeah. So let's just look at odds and evens to start. Is 6 odd or even? Even. Even. Odd. Even. Odd. Even. Odd. Even. Odd. Even. Odd. So the repeating part is even. Odd. So even first, then odd. Okay, next page. This is going like that. Yep. Use the rule to write the numbers in the pattern. So the rule is subtract 10 or minus 10. Yes, Olivia. Oh, we're not there yet. Okay. The first term is 100. So we put 100 and then we subtract 10. What do we get? 90. 90. Minus 10. 80. Minus 10. 70. Minus 10. 60. Okay. So we're going to write these numbers down here. 90, 80, 70, 60. Um, if they wanted us to, what would be a rule that we could use? Uh, Kaden? No, uh, oh, well, that's the rule. I should have rephrased that. What would be a pattern in these numbers? Are they all multiples of something? Yeah. Brody? <laughs> They're all multiples of 10, exactly, right? Because 198, they all end in zero, which means they can all be divided by 10. Very good. Is there something else they could all be divided by, Riley? You were going to say it. 15? No. Lennon? Five. Five. They all have a zero in the ones place, which means they're all divisible by five. And are they all even or odd or alternating? They're all what? Subtractive. Brody? Even. They're all even, which means they're all divisible by two. Oh. All right, come on, guys. Um, use the rule to write the numbers. So up here, there are multiples of 10, multiples of 5, and multiples of 2. Use the rule to write the numbers in the pattern. Describe another pattern in the numbers. So the rule is multiply by 2. So what is 4 times 2? 8. 8. 8 times 2? 16. 16 times 2? 32. 32 times 2? We need to work on that double one thing. No. Um, skip counting by 6. Okay, so they, our first term is 12. So for skip counting by 6, we're adding 6 each time. What is 12 18. plus 6? 18. 18 plus 6? 24. 24. Plus 6? 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 36. 36. 36. So let's look and see. We've got even, 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 even. And what are all these numbers multiples of? Two. Hayden? Okay. Uh huh. Oh, we forgot to put this down here. But go ahead. What did you write? I realized in my math, like, 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 is 3, 4, 4 plus 4 is 8, 8 plus 8 is 72, 64 is 16, and 32, 32 is 32. Yeah, so you've got right in there. So what you're doing when you do that is you're doubling them all. So instead of saying 4 plus 4 is 8, 8 plus 8 is 16, what you could say is 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16, 16 times 2 32, 32 times 2 64, and so on. So um, let me ask you, um, we forgot to fill in another number, another pattern we see in these numbers. So what do you see, what pattern do you see in these numbers? Even. They are all even. Okay, what else? If they're all even, what are they all multiples of? Laney? Two. Two. They're all multiples of two. They're also, these numbers in particular are also multiples of something else. Uh, four. Olivia? Four. four, yes. 
So here's what we're going to write. These are all multiples of 2 and 4. Most of them are also multiples of 8, but this one is not, so we can't use that rule. Because 8 you can divide by 8, 16 you can divide by 8, 32 and 64 you can divide by 8, but 4 you cannot. Hey, I'm sorry to interrupt. I wanted to let you know that I did order you a coffee, but it did not come. That's so okay. We have a ton of extra drinks if you want to come pick one. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Um, then skip count by 6. 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. What are all of those numbers multiples of? Annie? Two. Two. What else? <coughs> Armor? Um, two. Two and six. And there's one more. If something is a multiple of six, it is also a multiple of blank and blank. Three. three. Two and three, right? So these are all multiples of 2, 3, and 6. Okay, just for time's sake, we're going to go ahead and keep going. It says use the rule to write the first 12 numbers in the pattern. So how many numbers are we writing? 12. So here's what I like to do to start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then what's the rule for each of these? Uh, seven plus seven. So here's what I'm going to do. Plus seven, plus seven, plus seven. And that'll help me keep track of what I need to do to each one of these terms. I'm going to add seven to each one. And our first term is what? Three. Three. What's three plus seven? Ten. Plus seven? Thir wait, seventeen. Plus seven? Twenty-four. Plus seven? Thirty-one. Plus seven? Thirty-eight. Plus seven? 45. Plus 7? 52. Plus 7? 59. Plus 7? 76. Plus 7? 73. Plus 7? 80. Okay. So we have all of our terms. Now let's look and see. Let's find another pattern in the numbers. So is three even or odd? Odd. Odd. Even. even. Odd. Even. Odd. Even. Odd. Even. Odd. Even. Odd. Even. So the repeating is odd first, then even. Okay. Now we've got to do twelve numbers again. One. First term is 12. And our rule is first add 2, then add 1. So plus 2, 14. Nope, plus 1. Plus 2, plus 1. We're going to do this first. Plus oh. 2, plus 1, plus 2, plus 1, plus 2, plus 1, plus 2. Anyway, I got it wrong. Okay, so 12 plus 2 is what? 13. 14. 40, okay, plus 1? 15. 15. Plus 2? 17. 17. Come on, guys, pay attention. 15 plus 2? 17. 17. Plus 1? 18. 18. Plus 2? 20. 20. Plus 1? 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20.
Okay. So now we have even, even, odd, odd. Even, even, odd, odd. Even, even, odd, odd. So what's repeating? Even, even, odd, odd. Even, odd, odd. Even, Stephen, odd, odd. <laughs> okay. Marcy likes to collect stickers, but she also likes to give them away. Currently, Marcy has 87 stickers. Um, in her collection, if Marcy collects five new stickers each week and gives away three stickers each week, how many will she have out in her collection after five weeks? So the first term in this pattern would be what? How many does she currently have? 87. 87. So that's our first term. And the rule is plus 5, then minus 3. And this will be week 1, plus 5, minus 3. This will be week 2, plus 5, minus 3. This will be week three, plus five, minus three. This will be week four, plus five, minus three. This will be week five. Okay? So here we go. 87 plus five. 92. 93. It is 92. Okay. Minus three, 89. Plus five, 94. Minus three, 91. Plus five, 96. Minus three, 93. Plus five, 98. Minus three, 95. Plus 5, 100. Minus 3, 97. So how many does she end up with after Nine, five weeks? Seven. 97. <laughs> okay. Last page. And if you didn't quite get that finished, I'll put it back up at the end of math so you can copy it down. I understand this. Okay, the, the directions say use the rule to write the first 12 numbers in the pattern and then describe another pattern in the numbers. So here I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And what is the rule? What's the rule? Seven. Minus seven. Minus seven, minus seven, minus seven. And I'm gonna put that between each term. Do you see how I'm doing that? All right, here we go. And our first term is our 95. Let me do this in bright blue. 95 minus seven. So we go down to 90 and then take two more away. 88, very good. 88 minus 7. 81. 81. 81 minus 7. So we take away the 1 and then 6 more. 74. 74 minus 7. We take away the 4 and then 3 more. 67. 67. Minus 7. 60. 60. Minus 7. 53. Minus 7, we take away the 3 and then 4 more, so 46. Minus 7, 39. Minus 7, 32. Minus 7, we take away the 2, then 5 more. 25. Minus 7, 18. So we have all of our numbers there. Now let's look and see even or odd. Odd. Even, odd, even, odd, even, odd, even, odd, even, odd, even. So the repeating part is even, odd, even. Kaden, you got it?
to start it with, so the very first term is odd. So you've got to make sure you start it with odd, not even odd. Okay? And then we've got to do 12 more numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then my rule on this one is plus fifteen minus ten. Plus fifteen minus ten. Plus fifteen minus ten. Plus fifteen. Minus 10 plus 15 minus 10 plus 15. And here we go. We're going to start with our first term, which is 4. 4 plus 15. 18. 19. 19. 19 minus 10. 9. Plus 15. 24. 24. Minus 10. 14. 14. Plus 15. 24. 24. Minus 10. 24. 24. Plus 15. 30. 30. 39. Minus 10. 29. Plus 15, 44. Okay. What do you notice about the ones place digit in all of these numbers? Uh, they're no. all odd. They're, no. Why did I say odd? It goes odd. even, odd, even. No. Odd, odd even. even. Odd, 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 even. Okay, so number four is kind of tricky. It says Barb is making a bead necklace. So she strings one white bead, then three blue, and then one white bead. They want to know what number bead the eighth white one is. So we're going to have to draw it out. So this is um, the way I would do it. We start with white bead number one, right? Then blue, blue, blue. White bead number two, blue, blue, blue. White bead number three, blue, blue, blue. White bead number four, blue, blue, blue. White bead number five, blue, blue, blue. White bead number six, blue, blue, blue. White bead number seven, Blue, blue, blue. White bead number eight. Okay, so that's what it wants to know. What is the, uh, write the numbers for the first eight beads that are white. So the first bead is white, then this would be <coughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah. nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So those numbers that I wrote above the white beads are what I need to copy down. So one, five, nine, thirteen. 17, 21, 25, 29. Now, what is the rule for the white beads? How do you get from one to five? Add four. Add four. Is five to nine plus four? Yes. Yeah. Is nine to 13 plus four? Yes, yes. So each time the rule for this pattern of white beads is 
the rule is add four. Okay. And then we have an artist who is arranging tiles in rows to decorate a wall. Each new row has two fewer tiles than the row below it. If the first row has 23, how many tiles will be in the seventh row? So we have our first row, which is 23, second row, third row, fourth row, fifth row, sixth row, seventh row. So this is the one we're interested in. And what is the rule? Minus two. Yes, Lydia, very good. Minus two, minus two, because it says two fewer, right? Mm -hmm. So that means minus two. If it said two more, then we would add two. So what's 23 minus two? Uh, 21. 21 minus two? 19. Listen to what I'm asking, 19 minus two? 15. Oh, 17. Okay, 17 minus two? 16, 15. 15 minus 2. 13 minus 2. 11. And that's the one that we want to know. So how many tiles will be in the seventh row? 11 tiles. 11. And the last question, number 6, says give an example of a rule for a pattern list a set of numbers that fit the pattern. So just for, to be quick, we're going to say our rule is times two. And we're going to start and do, we're going to do this many numbers. Actually, let's just do this. So we're going to start with one. One times two. Two times two? Four times two? Eight. Eight times two? Sixteen. Sixteen times two? Thirty-two. Dot, dot, dot. Okay? All right, very good. So, that's it. We did the whole packet.